feel like I want to get to know him. You want to get to know him? Yeah. Do me a favor. Let's stand up and have this conversation. Yeah. So I guess the most obvious question is, why haven't seen your son in 10 years? I first agreed when I first met this, his mother that we both agreed upon getting an abortion when she told me that she got pregnant. And all of a sudden, seven months later, after I handed her that cash, she calls me up and says, well, I, I'm sorry to let you know this, but I decided to keep this child. And you, you won't have any obligations if you don't want to, but if you do, that's fine, but I'm not gonna ask you for nothing. I'll take care of this myself. And it just stuck me in a little hole where I got scared, frightened. I didn't want that relationship. Her and I only saw each other a couple, three or four times. And I was actually in California on vacation when I met her. I lived 2,000 miles away. I didn't know what to do. So I avoided it and I ran. I mean, that's, that's honest. And you know, I, I hear some truth in that. But Tom, you weren't 18 years old when this happened. You were 34 years old. And even though a woman says to you, I'm, you don't have any obligation, I'm gonna you know, release you of all financial obligation. Don't you have a moral obligation? Don't you have a moral obligation? You brought this child into the world. Yeah. That's why I'm here today. Okay. How come this moment hasn't happened sooner? I was in a situation in my life with another relationship that didn't allow me to get away. And this person said, I don't want you to have anything to do with your son? Correct. Okay, you know, that happens a lot. No, that happens a lot too. But don't you say, okay, honey, maybe I won't go over there once a week or twice a week or maybe I'll go to once a year. But 10 years? She got in your ear that much that you couldn't go see your son for 10 years? She's a scary woman. <laughs> but, and you look like a scary dude. I mean,. These past 10 years, you enjoyed yourself? Yes. What gives you enjoyment? Racing. Racing. You really like racing. Wouldn't it be great to do this hobby of racing with a son? Yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> I, do, I have do two sons with the girl that I've been with. OK, that's great. What about the third son? He, your, your, your two other sons, they get that attention, they get to share that love of racing with you. How come the other little boy does it? Because he's got a different mom? He's 2,000 miles away and I was... But 10 years! 10 years, Tom! But up till the last year... Tom, you're gonna tell me, you're standing here right now, and you're gonna tell me the only reason why you hadn't seen your son in the last damn 10 years is because some woman scares you, some woman said she doesn't want you spending time with your son. When are you gonna stop making excuses, Tom? Today, okay. Let's bring out Gina. Tom, how can you come out here in front of all of these people and say that all I was to you was a one night stand. How can you stand there and do this? No. If I was just a one night stand to you, why is it that you wrote me this letter while you were locked up when I was pregnant with our son? You don't remember that, do you, huh? Let me refresh your memory. I didn't know what to do with you having a baby because what do I have for it? I have nothing but love and that's not enough. Now you and I have a chance to work things out so maybe we can give this child a chance to a chance to do what is right. I hope you still care for me because I care for what is, I care for you and I never stopped. I miss you. So if you care, give me a chance to be with you both and we'll go from there, okay? Please write back and give me a picture of you or the child as well. I love you. Does that sound like a one night stand to you? No. Do you know what that boy has been through? He has cried. Since he was three years old, his backpack has been packed by the door waiting for you to come and see him. That's because you made him do that. Oh, I made him do that. I made him do that. You let him believe that. You know what? That You're I, a liar. You made him believe you that I was a, a part of the life. You made wasn't. that child feel, you have made him feel like he's trash. You've made him feel like 
Your other children are more important than him. Do you know how many times he's cried himself to sleep wanting to see you? No, I don't. Yeah, do you care? I do now. What about the last 10 years? Where were you then? I told you when no, we started. No, you listen no, to I me. You're going to you. listen to me. You were off racing and in the bar, right? You have money for your race cars. You have money for your bar, but you don't have money to send your son. You make me sick. How much have you given to her over the past 10 years for your son? How much money have you given her? $35, $55 a month. $30 a month. $30 a month. I go without so David can have stuff. Well, that's, that's more than I wanted to give when I first met you and got pregnant. I, I did not want to support a child that I didn't want to, you know, couldn't be You know what, of. when you say that, I don't want to support a child that I didn't agree to. But the fact is, you did everything to create a child. So did she. And so did she. Exactly. Because I thought so, you cared about me. I you know honestly, what, honestly, my you know what, honestly, I, I hear that letter, he wrote it to you in jail, and he's lonely. He's got nobody but a bunch of sweaty guys around him. So maybe he Why writes you a letter. Hold on, months. hold on. Shut up. So maybe he did write that. But you know what? The truth of it is, that doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, there's a little boy walking around on this planet wanting his father. He has every right to know who his father is. Your other two boys, they get to see you every day, right? Yes. Do, they, do you get to love them? Yes. Do they get to love you? Yes. What's different about those two little boys than this one here? The woman that you had him with? I want to help your little boy. I do. I love helping children. I love it. But what I can't do is I can't bring your little boy out here and hope that just because he's meeting his father, that he's going to now be a part of his life. I can't do that with any good conscience. So I want to ask you, do you have any intention of being in this 10-year-old's life. Yes, I do, and I tried this year. I don't want to hear about what you did and what you didn't do. I want to know from this moment forward going on, I don't want to give this little boy false hope that now Steve Wilkos brought his father into his life, and then the show's over, and you go back to your racing cars or whatever the hell you do, and you're not part of his life anymore because you're 2,000 miles away. She won't answer my I don't want to hear what she does. She's been there. This is about you. I've and I'm tried. asking you, if I bring this little boy out here, listen to what I'm saying. I don't want to give this boy false hope that now that he's met his father, that in some way you're going to give it to him and want to be in his life. I want an honest answer. I'll be there. You'll be there. What about the 2,000 damn miles, Tom? I have time to go. Okay, so you're telling me if I bring your son out, you are going to make an effort and actually be in his life. Yes, I am. If, it, if it's okay. Is it okay? I'm so scared you're going to hurt him again. You've told him before you were going to come see him. He's devastated every night, Tom, when he goes to sleep. He said, God, please let me meet my dad. I'll be there for him as long as she'll as long as answer nothing. the phone. As long as nothing. Because she's, she's here. She's going to let you see him. You're going you're gonna to make the effort for your little boy, your son. I will make the effort. Okay. Now, can you imagine being 10 years old and coming on a TV show? Must be scary. He's scared. Um, yeah, he's scared. He's scared. And so what we're not going to do is act like idiots up here. Nobody. We're not going to get down to, right. she did this or she didn't allow me to do that. He doesn't care, and I don't give a damn. He's happy. He's here today to meet his father, and we're going to keep it to that. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Do all of you understand? Yes. We are going to act in an appropriate way when this 10-year-old boy comes out, the son that you haven't seen in 10 years. David, let's bring him out. You look pretty good. How's it going? I'm good. 
You look good. Hi, David. I, I listened to your tape. That you're, I know you're a big fan of the show, and I want to say thanks a lot for that. You asked for my help. He's here. Anything you'd like to say to your dad? I miss you. I miss you, too. Let's try to keep in touch now, huh? Let's try to see each other now. Let's do that. Go to the races. Okay. All right. Well, David, I want to say you're a very brave little boy. It's got to be a scary thing, but you were brave enough to say, hey, I want to meet my father. It's got to be very scary to come out on a TV show in front of all these people, and you've never seen your dad. So I want to say, you're a brave little kid, and I'm proud of you. Yeah, thank you. Of course, with mom's permission, is there anything that we can send you out that you want to do with your dad? On, on me. I'm gonna, gonna have you go out with your dad. Is there anything you want to do? Go to the movies, go shopping, go out for a bite to eat. What do you want to do with your dad? Go get ice cream. Go get ice cream! <laughs> nice. You are one lucky guy. Your son wants to go out with his dad for some ice cream, and we're going to make that happen. Let's go. Thanks. Take care. Thanks. Hey. Thanks. Thanks. Do it now, right? You got a chance? All right, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go out for ice cream with your dad, right? I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.